And welcome to day 35 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day number 53 in the Eastern Pacific, and that's where all the action's going on at the moment. That's the only location where we have uh, tropical storms, tropical systems going on um, actively. Uh, first of all, Tropical Storm Delilah, which is currently weakening. Um, it's been weakening continuously throughout today, and uh, after it began yesterday, as it weakened from a hurricane, is now a weak tropical storm, likely to become a tropical depression very soon. Now we have a new tropical depression that's formed in the Pacific. Pacific Ocean to the east um, near Mexico tropical depression 5e that's likely to be named in the next few hours um, and it will skirt quite close to the Mexican coastline that's why we have some tropical storm watches already in effect along the Mexican coastline at the moment more on that in a moment um, in the Atlantic we do have still have a system um, that's over the Yucatan Peninsula entering the uh, Bay of Campeche region um, currently with a 10% chance hasn't been designated as an invest been following this one for around a day or two as it's been moving towards the um, west northwest um, but it doesn't look like it will develop at this stage and in the indian ocean things remaining quiet are no systems designated as invests or even any play any, any uh, systems that um, have a chance of development so things are fairly quiet in the indian ocean at the moment looking at the sea surface temperatures they've uh, fizzled out a little bit along the Mexican coastline that's the, still a hot, hot spot as well as the central Gulf of Mexico where temperatures are still around 28 degrees or above um, but temperatures are still rather warm and toasty so till still 26 degrees or more in a few areas um, especially in, in the tropical regions so no issues with tropical storms forming at the moment um, and around the Philippines as well still warm waters around here 28 to 30 degrees perhaps a little bit more in some areas so Tropical Storm Delilah, currently with winds of 40 miles per hour, pressure of 1,004 millibars, expected to become a tropical depression, weakened to a tropical depression very soon, and uh, shortly after that, um, turn post-tropical and uh, finally wander out to sea. Um, following in the footsteps of Cosme, almost, moving towards the west northwest, perhaps a little bit more towards the south, um, but will still move in a general westerly direction as it dissipates. Um, and we also have, of course, Tropical Depression 5E, which is the um, one that we're finding most interesting at the moment. That will likely be our next tropical storm. Um, probably not um, becoming a hurricane, at least not at the current forecast, but that may change, you never know. Um, but that will, as you can see, the forecast here moving towards the west northwest, perhaps northwesterly at times, especially initially um, as it moves that direction it will skirt quite close to the Mexican coastline that's why I have tropical storm watches those are in effect from Acapulco to La Fortuna in Mexico at the moment and if it turns into a tropical storm we may well see some tropical storm warnings coming into effect so make sure you check the website um, early tomorrow local time uh, because there will probably be updates um, that, will, that this video will not be covering. Looking at the um, floater imagery then, you can see Delilah struggling against all that dry air over to the left, uh, highlighted in that orange colour. Um, but it's still going, and it's still moving in a general west, uh, westerly direction, I suppose, with a little hint of southern, southerly element in with that. Um, at the moment. Tropical Depression 5E you can see is quite a fair bit larger uh, they're, they're pretty much the same scale I believe and this storm's moving generally towards, slowly towards the west perhaps a little bit of a northward element at the moment and that's likely to become more um, prominent as it's expected to move towards the northwest and then curve back a little bit towards the west and here's the model ones then, the CMC model um, takes the storm virtually along its forecast track and has the storm dissipating quite a little bit earlier than the forecast predicts um, as it expects it to um, move quite close to the Mexican coastline towards the northwest there. The ECMWF takes it further out to sea and makes it last quite a bit longer. You can see it moving well out to sea there before we finally lose um, lose sight of it. So that's um, probably the um, most aggressive model one perhaps as a strong tropical storm as it moves out uh, over the ocean. Um, the GFS model doesn't really predict much from it. You can see there um, it doesn't really develop it much has it, uh, has it dissipating very quickly as it moves towards the west-northwest. Um, and the NavGem model has um, a bit more development, perhaps a weak to moderate tropical storm skirting the Mexican coastline, perhaps delivering some tropical storm force winds along the coast, uh, maybe some local flooding as it moves off to the um, northwest. There, the GFDL takes it into land by the looks of it, or at least very close to a landfall, and then it quite quickly dissipates it after that. Um, so not much more to be said there, a dissipating storm over Mexico and HWRF keeps it out at sea and um, moves it towards the northwest dissipating just off the coast of the Baja California Peninsula um, according to the HWRF model there. 
Looking at the overall predictor season scores then for July the 5th, um, it still remains unchanged because there is no changes yet. Um, that will likely be very different by this time tomorrow when the um, when it, uh, it will likely be Tropical Storm Eric, but at the moment Ken with 99 points, Typhoon Mopa with 91 and Hurricane Melissa 20 with 89 points. That's the top three at the moment. You can submit your own storm totals at the website force13.com forward slash interactive. It's not too late at this stage, just click the 2013 predictor season button and uh, then you can submit your prediction. Um, the scores do go down, uh, the, the um, possible score, potential scores do go down over time because it is about skill and accuracy of course. Um, so earlier the better I'd say. What happened on this day then on July the 5th? 1975 Tropical Storm Denise formed in the Eastern Pacific. In 1983 another Delilah formed in the Eastern Pacific as well. Um, also in 1983, Tropical Storm Cosme dissipated in the Eastern Pacific and in 1985, Hurricane Dolores and Tropical Storm Enrique both dissipated on the same day. Um, also 1987, Tropical Storm Calvin formed in the Eastern Pacific. In 1991, Tropical Storm Anna dissipated in the Atlantic. In 94, Hurricane Carlotta dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. And in 1995, that one's pictured as well, Tropical Storm Barry formed in the Atlantic on this day July 5th, obviously 2013, a little bit ahead with Barry been and gone, um, though it doesn't seem like the next storm will be forming at least for a little while yet. 1996, Tropical Storm Bertha formed in the Atlantic, also Tropical Storm Dam formed in the Western Pacific on the same day. In 1997, Tropical Storm Dolores formed in the Eastern Pacific. In 2000, Kai Tak formed in the Western Pacific. In 2002, Tropical Storm Halong formed in the Western Pacific as well. In 2005, Hurricane Cindy made landfall in Louisiana as a Category 1 storm. And in 2007, Tropical Storm Taraji made landfall in Vietnam on this day, July the 5th. Don't forget you can track any storm that forms or indeed any that are in progress that are currently active at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking is the main page which gives you the overview map with all the tables at the top and bottom showing which storms are active and any warnings in effect at a glance and then you can uh, click through to each basin, individual basin um, to have a look more in depth um, at the storm tracks, the um, forecast tracks and indeed any warning information in more detail because obviously that is fairly important. Tropical storm watches, as I say, in effect for uh, quite a large part of the Mexican coastline at the moment so that will probably be changed to tropical storm warnings very soon if um, Tropical Depression vibe does intensify as um, expected. And don't forget you can visit all the social pages as well, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter on all three of those. Just search Force 13 on any of those and you should find us fairly easily enough. And don't forget, please do show your support by um, doing the usual um, engagement sort of things, liking, subscribing, commenting, favouriting, following, anything else that you can think of um, on any of the uh, outlets there. And if you have any comments about this um, animation, about this um, update, or indeed anything storm related, just uh, send in a comment on the YouTube or by private message and uh, I'll get back to you in due course. Um, but in the meantime, the next bulletin will be coming up around midnight UTC on July the 6th, that will be Saturday. Um, and um, in the meantime, there might be an update on Tropical Depression 5 if it is necessary during the day on July the 5th. But that's it for now.